Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I'm here with Martino Cartier, the Keratin Complex Artistic Director. And what is the name of your salon? Martino Cartier Salon. Oh, that makes, that makes life easy. <laughs> and, and we're here in New Jersey. He just did a presentation, but somebody told me to ask you the story about the little boy. And I don't know anything about this other than it's something that I had to talk to you about. So fill us in. So uh, the little boy is a story that I tell when I go to salons and different trade shows. And uh, it's about a little boy who was given up for adoption. And um, his mom was pregnant in Egypt and she wasn't married. So the family brought her here um, actually to terminate the pregnancy. But by the time she came here, it was too far. And um, so she had a really hard time. Family tortured her. And by the time she was ready to give birth, she didn't speak the language clearly. And uh, she didn't have any money or anything. They took her to the hospital in North Jersey, ironically enough, and um, had her sign some papers. She didn't know what she was signing. And that was the last time she saw the baby. The baby was taken from her and placed in foster care um, until this little boy was adopted when he was about six months old by an Irish family. And um, when he was 11, 1986, there was a movie came out called An American Tale. And it was about a little mouse named Fifo that lost his family. And James Ingram wrote a song called Somewhere Out There. About that time, his mom had told him the details of his adoption, that his name was baby boy Ayad and his birth mother's name was Miriam, and that she went back to Egypt to marry his father. From that point on, the little boy wanted to find his birth family. And he tried and tried and tried and just never succeeded. And when he was 18 years old, his guidance counselor told him that she would take him to the Bureau of Vital Statistics in Jersey City to find the records. And um, when they went there, they said that they will be sealed forever because it's adoption. And back then, the adoptions were sealed. So the kid went into a massive depression. Um, drove his mother's truck or jeep into the woods and put a, a hose in one end of the muffler and the other end in the car. And uh, a park ranger found him in, in the park and uh, he woke up in a hospital. And his mother was in the hospital crying. And uh, then he turned 20 and he met Montel Williams and once again got nowhere. A couple years after that, he went to a Walmart and waited eight hours for Oprah to show up to do a book signing and once again nobody was willing to help this kid. So the kid was just told he would never make it his entire life. And then in 2005, he had a dream that he was in Egypt and he saw this woman and she came up to him and said, uh, or he went up to her and he said, uh, is your name Miriam? And she said, uh, who are you? And he said, you know, baby boy, Ayad. And she said, uh, I named you Ayad because it's my last name. And if you put the two together, you will find me. So the boy woke up and he was just, he was crying and he went to work and he canceled his day and he went online and he thought maybe this is it. And he looked and sure enough, Ayad is a last name, an, an Arabic last name. So he had called the state New Jersey Vital Statistics Office a number of times and nobody would help this kid. So he called one last time and sure enough, he got a woman by the name of Dolores Helb and she took the time and went into his file and here... In 1986, 21 years before the dream, his birth mother wrote a letter to the state the same year that he saw that video, American Tale. And the letter said, you know, dear my son, I leave you with another family because I have no choice, but I'll never go back to Egypt. I will wait here in Jersey City. I will never marry. I will never have another kid. And I'll wait for you at 2554 JFK Boulevard with the number. And here, after all these years, she waited and... That day, he called the number, and sure enough, like the dream, a little voice was like, hello? You know, and he said, uh, is Miriam there? And she said, who's calling? And he said, baby boy Ayad. And that day, baby boy Ayad, which is now Martino Cartier, uh, I got my mom, and we drove up the turnpike. And that night, I met my birth mother for the first time. And that's the story that I use at, at trade shows and even here at the salon today that lets people know never give up and uh, just believe. That's my story. Wow. <laughs> and that's a beautiful story. I, I, I'm so moved. <laughs> and oh, that, and I gave you the short version. The whole story is on my website, martinocartier.com. It's a big link that says read Martino's adoption story. Oh, and so what's the aftermath? Have you been in touch with yeah, so I Yeah, I see my birth mother all the time. She gave me my dad's name, which ironically is Farouk. So when she <laughs> says to me, my father's name is Farouk, I about hit the floor, you know. 
different Farouk. Um, I went to Egypt. He lives in Cairo. I found my two brothers. I have two brothers, Michael and Regan, um, and I have one big, big family now. It's been great. And are, are any of them like you? Do, are there any my other one brother, you? my one brother, um, my one brother Regan does kind of look like me. It's kind of funny. People see him on Facebook and they right away know that that's my brother. Anybody doing hair or art? They're in like fashion and over there, the one of them does like TV, like produce production and editing. So they're creative, I would say. How did your, uh, your Irish family handle all this? My mom is amazing. My mother, when she met my birth mom, um, she said, thank you for giving me a son. You know, and my mom that gave birth to me said, well, because of you, I know he's okay. You know, and so they, they're like sisters. They, they consider each other sisters. Oh, it's such a beautiful story. Oh, my goodness. So is this a message? What, what is the message to other people? Is it worth it to go out and find your birth parent, or it was for you? I just think it's a message that whatever your dream is, you never give up. You know, I just told this group today that there's always a new top. When you think you've made it to the top, don't stop, because there's always another top to get to, you know? And I just, when I was told my whole life it would never, ever, ever happen. And now it's the story, it's the, it's, the, it's the energy that drew back the bow, you know what I mean, that drove the arrow forward. And now this is what I use to touch people every day in the salon industry and give them hope. So you know? life is good for Martina Cartier. Life, life is, is good. And you're, you are paying it forward. You are, you know, we should take a moment and just talk about your charity. Sure, yeah. Friendsarebyyourside.com. Uh, it's all about empowering women that that have been told that they have cancer, you know, and these women, uh, they don't know where to go when they lose their hair. They don't, and now they can. You know, we, have, we provide wigs for them, we, and we keep them in the program. If a woman has hair your length and she loses it, she stays in the program until her hair grows as long as your hair did, and we don't charge them for any color, any cuts, any highlights, any keratin treatments, nothing, um, including the free wigs. And we also grant wishes to children that are going through cancer, big wishes. Meet your celebrity, you know, go places you could never go. And for me, it's what it's all about. You know, the little boy that said he'd never make it is now making it for others. It's pretty cool. Yeah, well, Modern would like to offer a shoot for a day for one of your cancer patients. Love so that. Somebody who would like to be, we, we do that actually kind of a lot. That's awesome. Um, but we would like to have somebody come be a model for a day. And That's awesome. Maybe you'll be the hairdresser. That's <laughs> cool. All <laughs> right. So, oh, it just all comes around. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing you. your story and just for being you. You're a star. I love you're, you guys. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. All right, bye.